We already played Rogue Mage. We already played Mage Mage. Yeah, this guy. This guy. This guy's calling my name. Okay, so we're gonna run in here immediately, Kleptomaniac, and get full Agromaniac. We're gonna Nova the pet here, then go for the full Shepherd on the pet. And as soon as this Druid casts, we place Yasmin and take down his partner. Let's see what ends up happening. Go for the big cheap pie. We're gonna hammer up justice to this so we can't feign death. Boom, big cheap pie. We lock out the healer, pop in every single button now onto this guy. Immediately trinket that. We go for a DB into the Roth here. He trinkets the DB, so then we go full Hodge out of that. Go for the full ring off of that. We're gonna run the pet into the ring so we can't use Roth or anything like that. And then after that, we're gonna just go for the full one tap onto the hunter, go for the half sheep onto this guy, club the maniac on that, and then boom, one tap. G freaking G. Taking him out. Alright, that is it. Savin from Sargeris up to 1624. After that one win there, man. That is fantastic. Oh. Man, that's good. Man. All right, so we're immediately gonna start spell stealing this guy. We're gonna Nova him up. If the healer casts, we're gonna need to lock him out, press combustion, use every single cooldown, and just one shot this guy in the opener. We're going for the full sheep over onto the healer. Hammer of Justice and the sheep. We get Darkness, we get Cocoon. This is all looking good. We're gonna trinket this into the double DB. Double DB looking solid. Going for the Ring of Frost after this. Going for that double Ring of Frost. Get rid of the eye as well. Get that uh, spell seal on the envelope. Going for the big G pie here. We lock out the healer. Going for even more CC here. Going for another big cheap pie. He does have kick available, so we're gonna have to like fake the kick or blink through him. We decide to blink through him here. Trying to spell through that enveloping once again. We're going for the double DB into the full sheep here. Full sheep, boom, there it is. He does not have reverse magic, or maybe he does, I don't know. We go for the cheap pie onto the healer. Nope, we get stopped. We go for the full hammer of justice off that. We pop temp. We're gonna go for a half sheep, boom, there it is. And then we're gonna go for a quarter, quarter sheep. Right when the sheep's end, we just DB this thing. Block out healer, pop every button, and he's dead. Boom, man, that's a CC chain. Just like that, dude. Savin from Sarge is slaying. All right. Absolutely slaying, dude. Well played. 1,600 ret here, guys. Straight from LMG. I think the problem right now is the difference between a fresh 120 and a geared 20 is 20 times the DPS. Huh. Is that a problem? That's how it was in BC. That's how it was in Wrath. That's how it was in Mop. The only expansion that wasn't like that was in Wad, and I hated Wad. Is it is it weird to think that if someone's oh, I should have went Klepto. Is it weird to think that if someone's put in time on their character for eight months and someone just gets a fresh 120, shouldn't you just crush them? I don't know. Maybe that's fine in my opinion. Is that weird? Is that weird to think? If you put time in, you crush someone who just started? I don't know. Not weird, it should be that way. Yeah. Okay, Rogue opens up on us, we immediately mount away. He doesn't get the kidney off. Going for the spell steals. He cannot get the kitty. We just keep kiting. All right. You can't get to me. You can't get to me. Okay. We blink away just like that. As soon as he gets to me, boom. Pre temp. Pre temp the kitty every single time. I think we just blocked this. Should have blocked higher, I guess. Oh. He's putting on poisons. We find him in stealth and DB ring him out of stealth. This rogue got absolutely waxed right there, man. We're gonna put in as much damage as possible into him. We're gonna trinket that half kidney. Going for the Cloak of Shadows here from this guy. Let's see if we... Oh, he doesn't have Cloak. Uh... People need to stop expecting to be handed gear. Yeah, man, I made a post on Twitter about this. Um, but I think that in Vanilla WoW, you, you wouldn't have time to play an alt because it was a grind. In Burning Crusade, you didn't have time to play an alt. It was a grind to max level and the gear. In Wrath of the Lich King, you didn't really have time to play an alt, right? I liked the game when you couldn't play an alt and you had to pick one character and stick to it. And if you wanted to play alts, guess what? That means you didn't get a good geared main and that's okay. That's how I like the game, right? No more like just, oh, let me just play a character for a week and have fun. It's like, what? It's a fucking MMO, not a MOBA, man. 
Alright. Well, I deserve to have fun too. Like, I don't know, bro. At that point, let's start handing out participation trophies and like, just like, okay, well, you hopped on. Like, you just, like, ah, nah, dude. Not into that. Not into that. Not cool. Get him! It's gonna be a 1v1, dude. I'm dead. I think that mage is dead too, though. All right, we have Saven against Rogue Guy from Anubarak. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Rogue guy throwing out the trinket immediately jump down smoke box and going for the resell mind flay procs but immediately gets line of sight from rogue guy rogue guy going back in the line of twisted appendage working to Saban's favor Saban though about to get full kidney shot at here there it is it does land Saban no trinket no bubble available kidney shot doing so much damage here from rogue guy but the shield of vengeance coming out rogue guys better get away from that it's gonna blow up onto him wings coming out as well but rogue guy gets the safeguard proc Saban's going really really low here five percent life dressed to goth finishing him off Saban. it's not saving himself man unbelievable unbelievable you called me insane it's not a compliment like insane in a bad way when a brother but a blogans how did your casting go? It was good, man. I just, the reason I decided not to do more is just because I didn't like traveling and traveling is a lot of work. And I like streaming more. If I didn't, if I traveled in an event, I missed like five or six streams, like that sucks. But I loved it, man, it was, it was super fun. I could have locked that poly. Chi heal coming out, flash heal coming out. I trinket locked and missed, yikes. If we kick a chi heal, it's probably over, but yeah. Oh man, this is bad. This is my fault. My pally's slaying it. I'm just a noob. Man, 